What did you think of The Undertaker going to that fight, getting it interviewed, and then kind of calling out Brock Lesnar as he's leaving the cage after he loses to Cain Velasquez? What did you make of that interaction? Man, uh, I watched the pay-per-view. I watch every UFC pay-per-view they have. I saw that. I said, okay, somebody's working an angle here. Mm. But uh, I don't think that those worlds are going to collide just because – uh, UFC and WWE, both great organizations, but they're like oil and water, and I don't think oil and water mix very well. And uh, to, I, I, I don't know, just my, just from what I saw, it looked like a couple of guys were trying to shoot an angle, but, man, you know, with the, with the outcome of that fight, that wasn't the time to shoot an angle. And, uh, you know, uh, Kane, Kane, you know, was pretty pretty dominant in, the, in, the, in that fight, but... And that being said, to go back to a, to go to a UFC note, uh, I think that, that the loss of that fight will make Brock a better fighter. I think he's going to go back to camp. I think he's going to learn, uh, you know, better striking skills. I think he's going to, you know, learn how to take a, a better punch. And that loss will make Brock Lesnar a better fighter, and he'll go right back to the top and keep dominating the UFC. But yeah, the angle was ill-timed. Steve, you uh, the the one thing was is that they're t- the rumor was they were trying to get Lesnar to take on the Undertaker one last time for a one off at WrestleMania. The, what's been said of Lesnar, he's accomplished everything in the wrestling business that he wanted to. The same could be said of you ten times over. You you don't have a reason to go back unless you want to. I enjoy it when you host uh, Raw as the, the guest general manager. I we saw you get inducted into the Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame at WrestleMania, and you came down the four wheeler one last time. That was just such a great moment. But is there anybody that you sit back and say? Well, if I could do one more match at WrestleMania, it would be this guy. Not that you would do the match, but who would be the one guy you'd like to work with if you did the one last match? Well, you know, uh, it, it'd have to be Hogan, uh, just because he was uh, the biggest thing in the 80s, and probably when, when you ask uh, of the, the most famous professional wrestler ever, uh, nine times out of ten, you're probably going to get... Gonna get uh, well, my dogs are going crazy. Is that, is that, is that Hershey? You're going to get uh, Hulk Hogan. You're going to get some Ric Flairs. You're going to get a lot of Stone Colds. But uh, it, w- it would have to be, for me, being as hot as I was in the 90s, I'd have to go with Hulk Hogan. 